But first tonight, Governor Steve Sisolak assuring Nevadans will have a roof over their heads during the pandemic. Now the governor wrapping up a press conference just moments ago. And let's get right out to 13 Action News reporter Austin Carter with more on this emergency directive, Austin. Well, Jackie, state officials putting it bluntly, you can't stay home for Nevada if you don't even have a roof over your head. All the more reason for Governor Sisolak to sign this emergency directive temporarily banning evictions here in the state. This also to take away any of that financial burden for so many families that are here in the Silver State. So let's get straight to it. Sisolak making it clear, though, that this is not free rent and that the goal is to make sure everyone can continue practicing social distancing. Also saying facing eviction right now would be the last kind of stress that families need. State Treasurer Zach Co9 also announced an agreement for a 90 day grace period on mortgage payments and late fees, saying lenders need to figure out a plan with borrowers that won't impact their credit, but saying that folks need to talk with their lender to reach that agreement as it won't be automatic. State Attorney General Aaron Ford also taking the mic, saying that when it comes to evictions and late rent, some landlords are already being what he describes as inflexible during this rough time and saying it won't be tolerated. Take a listen. My office has received many complaints from those who've been, frankly, bullied by their landlords, including a 71-year-old woman who had been wrongly threatened with eviction. Fortunately, my office was able to help her stay in her home. But these types of actions are absolutely unacceptable, and they have forced the state to take action. So Aaron Ford really making it clear um, just that you need to contact his office if you are being threatened in any way to be evicted. Again, all of these measures here are being taken to keep everyone at home and try to keep everyone safe and prevent the spread of COVID-19. Now, the state also has that website set up for everyone to visit if they have any questions about any of these emergency directives that have been put in place. That website is nvhealthresponse.nv.com. Reporting live, I'm Austin Carter, 13 Action News. Important measures for sure, Austin. Thank you. New at five.